Hi there, my name is Dustin Beebe. Um, I've been here with Titan Machinery for about 15 years now. I'm a combine specialist here, and today we are going to go through a mid-range combine and talk about the fundamentals. So here on the powertrain, uh, we're going to start off with checking our wheels to make sure we don't have any cracks in them. We especially want to check between each bolt hole, make sure that there isn't any cracks starting. Um, we want to make sure that our bolts are torqued to spec. And we also want to make sure that our air pressure and our tires are up to spec. We also want to do the same for the rear tires. Check the wheels for cracks, the bolts for torques, and set the rear tires uh, to the right air pressure. Um, with that, we'll move on back here. We're going to touch base with uh, the rotary air screen. So there's a few things we need to look at here. We want to check that our rotary air screen brushes are good and that they are making contact with our rotary air screen. So that way they can clean all the chaff and the sucrose off the rotary air screen along with the bottom brush, the same thing there. One other thing we need to keep in mind on these side rotary air screens on these mid-range combines is they have a rubber seal and below that rubber seal there's a yellow wear strip. We got to make sure that this black rubber seal is installed and not torn all off because if this is torn off we are sucking dirt past the rotary air screen and plugging our coolers inside. So we need to make sure that all that is good and we need to make sure that on the rotary air screen there's no holes. We don't want any holes in any of these screens on the side or the front. All right, here on the air filter housing, um, one thing we need to remember is uh, replacing these air filters every year. Uh, and another thing, we need to remove this aspirator once a year or this air filter housing once a year. And in the back here, there is an aspirator. And what that aspirator does is it helps circulate the air around the air filters. Uh, when these get plugged up, um, they can cause issues of our plugging up our air filters a lot easier. So it's, it's just a lot easier if we take it off once a year, remove the aspirator out of here. There's four rivets you need to drill out, pull it out, blow it out, good, install it back in, and install the air filter housing back on. Um, and then once we're done with that, we will move into the engine. So to finish off the powertrain here, uh, we're up here in the engine compartment. We're just going to make sure that our coolant reservoir is full. Um, you want to check that when it's cold. We don't want to be opening this if there's any kind of heat or pressure in the system. So when it's cold, we want to make sure that our coolant reservoir is full. We also want to check to make sure all of our belts in the front of the engine are in good shape. Uh, they're not tore, missing, missing grooves, um, and that the tensioner is also in good shape. We want to make sure that the engine is getting the operating temperature. Um, make sure that we change the engine oil yearly on these machines and that uh, also make sure that the AC and heat functions are working properly. Um, with all that we also want to make sure that our muffler does not have any cracks anywhere. We don't need uh, heat getting out of anywhere other than the exhaust pipe itself. Um, so we just want to make sure that we don't have any broken pipes on the muffler system. Um, with that, that uh, should bring a wrap up on the end of the powertrain.